this next part, I'm going to show you how you can get an interactive render session going within Maya's viewport. And it's incredibly simple. So let me just stop my little robot guy here. And if I come up here to this blue R and I give it a click, what happens is that Render Man will fire up in the same way as it does it, but this time it'll be inside of the Maya viewport. So now that's all done, you can see that the interactivity is incredibly fast. And again, if I come up to the render settings, I can adjust it with my interactive refinement. And I can also adjust my max samples and, and pixel variance here as well. So I, my IPR will refine even further. So I'll close that down. So here I've got a number of options. So this one, as I've just shown you, is to fire up the IPR. So this next option here allows me to create a render man play blast based off this viewport. So I've got a number of options, how many samples, the pixel variance. I can view it straight into it. This is the image format and the encoding and then frame padding. And then I can save it out to disk. This next option here, if I left click it and hold the button down, it gives me these options. And this is my resolution for my viewport. So if I change it to 50%, it then refires up the render at half resolution. So now you can see that it's running at a half resolution. So everything is much, much quicker and more interactive. I'll just put that back to 100%. So the next option I want to show you is this interactive render region icon here. So if I click it and then I draw out my marquee, I can then confine the render buckets inside of it. So if I then zoom, you can then see that I'm only working within this region here that I've drawn out. And then if I go ahead and select an object, I can then refine its material and do the same with the wing. Now you can see here I've got this big green selection spoiling my interactive viewport and what I can do is come to show and then go down to selection highlighting and then I can still keep clicking on the various objects within my scene yet I don't see that big green wireframe selection everywhere. Now this next item here if I give it a click this activates the Pixar visualizer. So I click it now you can see that if I right click on this button, I can then change my visualizer. So I can look at the normals. I can look at the shaded version of it. I can turn the wireframe on and off and I can do a normals check as well. And then if I just come back to the BXDF and then I tick that off and then it reverts back to its normal mode. This next button here restarts the viewport render and then this button here will then take a snapshot of the viewport render and then it sends it straight to it. Like so. Let's close that down and I don't want to save it. Now you can see here at the bottom it shows me a number of pieces of information. So this bit shows me what integrator I'm using. This is the max samples, this is my pixel variance and this is my render time. And then underneath here, you can see this blue bar that grows. And this basically stops when you get to this max samples. So that pretty much concludes the interactive rendering within Maya viewport. And in the next lesson, I'm going to show you how you can get the interactive rendering working within the Maya render view.